go to court as some of the reasons for the debts. The white paper also said the debts paid between 2009 and 2012 were not contracted by the current NDC government. The Justice of Power Commission invited response from the public, but in some cases persons were subpoenaed. The Commission suffered several setbacks, including refusal of some people to appear before it and fire gutting its premises and stopping its work for some time. Six months after the report was submitted to government, a white paper has been issued. Government accepted some recommendations while modifying and rejecting others. The white paper, however, said the current NDC government absolves itself of many of the debts, saying they were not contracted during its tenure of office. The commission found as a fact that the huge judgment debts paid between 2009 and 2012 when not debts contracted by the government of the day within those years. Majority of them were debts that had been outstanding for several years, but which previous governments took no steps to resolve. The said debts had therefore accumulated interest to unimaginable levels. Some of the discoveries made by the commission were in the area of corrupt state officials milking the state and state attorneys refusing to go to court. The recent directive is that all queries are placed on the files of attorneys and their responses. Of course, it will be used in relation to promotion. Now we have an ally legal service regulations. Hitherto, we didn't have any regulations governing the department on the conduct of, um, of state attorneys, the terms of their employment, discipline. We, we didn't have it. But this year, it was passed by parliament and we started using those regulations. The Attorney General also spoke on the sale of the Ghana National Petroleum drill ship during President Kofor's era. My recollection is that the investigate, government to investigate how the outstanding sum, you know, there was a balance after the sale of the drill ship to find out how it was applied. And um, you see in the report that we tasked specific institutions to conduct that investigation. The Judgment Debt Commission sat for one year investigating selected government debt cases between 1992 and 2012. We'll look at some politics now in the suspense.